here at uh, the Air Canada Centre. Brooke Paxley, Paul Hendricks, Big Bad Bob McGill right in behind me as we get set for the uh, New York Rangers tonight. It is original six hockey and uh, Bob, uh, a proverbial four-point game as far as both these clubs are concerned. Four points separating them in the yep. standings and uh, I'd expect a, a defensively tight hockey game given how well both teams have played on the defensive side of the puck heading into this big one here tonight. You're right, Paul, and uh, you know what? Uh, the Rangers come in here on a bit of a roll. Uh, having played now 3-0-1 in their last four hockey games. And they ended the month of March uh, with consecutive losses. And I think they got shut out both those games. But since April started, they're 3-0-1 and uh, playing some great hockey. And I think the other thing is, too, is uh, you're going to have to play well defensively here if you're a Toronto Maple Leaf because of the fact that uh, Henrik Lundqvist, who well, I would think is starting in this hockey game tonight, in his ten, last 10 games has allowed two goals or less. Uh, so he's been playing some terrific goal for the New York Rangers. So uh, the Maple Leafs got to make sure they tighten up the uh, defensive zone and uh, play well, you know, without the puck here tonight uh, if they want to, you know, get back on track as far as winning a game here at home uh, after that big victory on the road on Saturday. Welcome to uh, Dan Dunleavy, uh, who's arrived, and uh, as well, Brooke, let's talk Original Six Hockey and the big announcement yesterday. The Outdoor Classic for January 1st, 2014, the Red Wings, the Maple Leafs, a year later, but it has arrived. That's right. Well, I think I'm, I'm probably one of the most excited people because I grew up in Windsor, so I have a lot of my friends are, are Wings fans, so it's going to be great to see that matchup. But great announcement, and I'm glad that it is coming back. And tonight we have an event, Paul, you and myself. Before the game, we're going to be heading over to Real Sports Apparel. We're having an all-access with Wendell Clark, Ron Ellis, and Darcy Tucker. So we're expecting a lot of fans out. You guys can get your Winter Classic jerseys there. But I'm asking you guys for questions. If you can't make it down, make sure you send me your questions on Twitter. Um, you're going to be asking a lot of hard-hitting questions. But the fans out there, they got to get their say in, too. So we, that's your chance right there. This is great to see. I yes, stated yesterday is. in the optional skate, but this is Joffrey Lupel and uh, Dan. Uh, no idea whether he's going to get into the lineup here tonight, but to see him out here, you'd have to think he's going to be back much sooner than later. Well, that's a big hope, isn't it? Um, he's got to be tired of doing this. He's <laughs> tired of doing this. But I'll, I'll tell you what. Maybe if if this is what works for him and gets some scoring uh, in every you know six consecutive games upon his return, then he's got to miss two for whatever reason. I think the club might take that. <laughs> he w he wouldn't. But boy, he, uh, you know we'll have to see how the skate goes today. But. The other thing uh, heading into this game, I guess, Dan, is uh, Ryan O'Burnham, uh, when he is going to make his Toronto Maple Leaf debut. Everyone thought perhaps on Saturday, but uh, Randy's going to put him in when he's ready. This might be that type of game perhaps here tonight. Well, I was putting my rosters together last night, and the, the, the Leafs finishing touch I did this morning, so I'm here to announce to Randy Carlisle that O'Burn is in the lineup, at and least as far as my roster is concerned. Of, uh, who? At the expense of who? Um, well, to, Mike Koska is one name that was out for me, and pairing him with John Michael Lyles because of the familiarity that but, we talked about before. True. But yeah, there's many. But Mike there's, was a healthy scratch the other night yeah, as well. Yeah, so exactly. Well, I, again, this is my. So who are you taking out? Who are you taking roster. out? Uh, I haven't made that final decision. Yet. <laughs> yeah. I just said O'Burn. Oh. oh, okay. So, so you got some cojones here to say it, but you can't say who you're taking out of the lineup. So, like, come on. Your right, face I'll, is turning a little right, red. Take, uh, if we're going to keep Gardner in, then because I like, I want to get him some more ice time if I'm the coach, and I'll sit number 24 down. Well, there wow. you go. I know well, I thought you were going to you spot like So this. I thought you were going to pair him with John Michael Lyles, and now you're taking Lyles out of the lineup for him. Well, listen, Randy says a lot of coaching decisions happen throughout the day. You're asking me to make mine here before the skate even Not happens. Not fair. So, <laughs> <laughs> However, this is what Leaf Nation is debating now, and this is what the coaching staff has to go to on a game-to-game -game basis yeah. and this is the situation mark and and bob they have not had the last few years in terms of the depth both up front but especially on the blue line absolutely right paul and uh, it's a great problem to have if you talk to a coaching staff you know there's nothing worse than looking down your lineup and you don't know you don't have players to insert in because you don't have that depth they have that this year, and it's made some tough decisions. There's no question about it. And uh, I think as a coaching staff, that's a great, you know, great debate to have on a day-by-day -day basis of who's going to come out, who's going to go in, and you know, do we stay set with our lineup? You can watch the game on Sportsnet at 7 p.m. New York Rangers, Toronto Maple Leafs, and join us on Leafs TV. Gate 5 Live starting at 5:45.